The Dallas Mavericks brought in Michael Kidd Gilchrist back in February after he received a buyout from the Charlotte Hornets. They needed a strong perimeter defender all season. That is what the 6'6 forward is known for, and he gave Dallas another rotation player to mix in. He struggled to find his footing. He played just 71 minutes over 13 games as he got acclimated with the Mavs. Then, he was late arriving to the Orlando bubble. He did not play in the first four seeding games, but never missed a contest after that. He filled a key role in the playoffs. Mavs coach Rick Carlisle used him to defend Coy Leonard when his team got in foul trouble or needed someone to slow him down. The Mavericks outscored the Clippers by 8 points in his 19.4 minutes in the Game 4 victory. Kid Gilchrist is soon to be an unrestricted free agent. There is no guarantee he returns to the Mavs. What if he decides to play elsewhere in 2021? The Mavericks will be light on cap space, assuming Tim Hardaway Jr. accepts his player option. They will use the mid-level exception to upgrade their roster. The rest will have to be done through the draft, trades, or signing players on minimum deals. The Dallas Mavericks would love to find a better fit than Michael Kidd Gilchrist. They want someone that plays stout defense on the perimeter and can space the floor on offense. MKG only offers the former. If he leaves, here are five free agents that could replace Kidd Gilchrist on the Mavericks next season. Ever so softly off the glass, Booker. Driving to the rim, Robinson got a piece of it! This has become so season during the course of the playoffs. Thompson able to split through oh. and the block of the... The block shot here by Robertson. Nice little run here for... First! Kawhi Leonard on the pull-up. Nine left. Got blocked to five. Three-second differential. Rivers got the step. Rivers puts it up. The stretch. Joel Embiid, give him 20, and now 21 minutes. Henderson by Embiid, but the follow-up counts by. Yeah, that's very makeable, but if you're the Spurs defense, you got to give him something. Westbrook is a fabulous mid-range shooter. It's the three-point mark. In the studio tonight, I, I know it's Doris and, and Chance, but... Uh... They'll go to 12 and 2 against the Southeast, 7 and 1 on the road against the Southeast. Oh my! Play of the day for the Heat. Unbelievable. A cloud piercer. Unbelievable. That was uncanny finish. Look at that athleticism. That's amazing. Oh my! And catching it on, catching it on the right and finishing with your left is awkward too. He's rearing back. His head is up above. Waiters. Out to Jones Jr. Gets into the paint. Look out below. What a finish. That got Chris Bosh to jump right out of his seat. Stu, an airplane mode went up top of Vucevic there and finished with authority. Stretch it out. Slama. 53 dunks this year for the high-flying Derek Jones Jr. All highlight worthy. Derek Jones Jr. waited for the rebound, and here he comes. He's a racehorse. Oh, my. in the starting lineup. That's been the case in the playoffs. He's their second leading scorer. Crowder for three. That's good. Jam. Rebounds hurt Milwaukee in the fourth quarter of game three as well. Butler back out. Crowder's going to try again. And Crowder, two three-pointers early on. Lead of the game for the Bucs, and they've done it with their MVP back in the locker room with the sprained ankle. Dragic regains the lead for the Heat with a three-pointer. Two 13 points, game three. Dragic to Adebayo, guarded by Marvin Williams, trying to create some space. Crowder's back in, connects on a three-pointer. Dragic tries again. Adebayo with another rebound, his seventh. Kicks it back out. Jake Crowder's been hot, and that continues. Rattles that one home. Dreadful fourth quarter in game three. Bam out of bio and boy. Uh, Great job of capitalizing off your opponent's turnovers. And you know, one of the things that you're going to see with this Minnesota team. Oh, nice job by Hollis Jefferson. 
But this Minnesota team plays hard. Yeah. Oh, and, and you know what his size, man, he gets in the paint. Oh, Rondé over. hustled Jefferson. That can be a tough matchup. Oh, yeah. But he can. Rondé Hollis Jefferson is fouled by Carl Anthony Towns. Up on the screen, Hollis Jefferson turns the corner. Here's Siakam on the inside. Hollis Jefferson working underneath. Oh, great job by Pascal to set him up on that. Dropped 142 on the Los Angeles Clippers, so this has become a high scoring unit. What a move by Hollis Jefferson. Taking some contact, too. Six point game. And Fleet. Here's Hollis Jefferson. So tricky. Yeah, like Sabonis double team comes again. And now Holiday for three. Let's give Miles credit some credit. Miles Turner some credit. That ball moved exactly where it needed to You and I were talking that the other night they just struggled to get quality shots against the box. The Pacers were shell shot, Chris. You, you got to go through in the lineup and you, you first of all, you don't have them now. Oh, there's got to be a foul. And DeAndre Jordan picks up his second. I mean, guys are looking for each other. We got our point guard, Sabonis, bringing you down. with State. Hello. Good cut on the part of Justin Day, uh, Holiday. And I'm telling you, Naz is a lot more comfortable out yeah. there now, partner. Together again. And he has it going, Justin Holiday. Probably could have got a foul on that one, too, because I thought Joe Harris was in his way when he tried to land. Justin Holiday. Money pass. Money